the purpose statement uh, on debit and credit cards uh, spending. Debits and credit cards are now widely used to pay for goods and services. Look at the way they started uh, this discussion. Well, it emphasized that this particular investigation is going to be useful for all most of the people. So it is trying to establish a reason to carry out this investigation. Got to pose a question. Several students are coming back and said, uh, does it have to be a question? Uh, well, it could be uh, any kind of statement uh, like this. This is not a question, but this is a statement which is uh, which should be accepted. I will investigate trends. So the word investigate is investigation is very important. I'll investigate trends in the amount spend on credit cards in New Zealand in millions of dollars per quarter. So the unit of measurement is there, the variable is mentioned, and the time frame is mentioned too. And finally, you need to say you are going to make a prediction for a uh, well, couple of years. Source of data is important. Well, over here, you are trying to establish the time frame specifically. It's in months. You got to define the variable. This is the decomposition part. People are coming back with the question, what is decomposition? decomposition and why is it necessary without decomposition how do you know three different types of features of time series trend seasonal pattern and residual this statement is the most important one uh, for the general trend if you look at that it tells you something about the direction of movement increased from thirteen hundred million thirteen hundred million in that time frame to 200, sorry, uh, it's 2,800 million dollars in November 2015. This increase is approximately, now we've got to count the number of digits you have. So we are talking about 9 billion 700,000 per month and this is how we work out the gradient the top value minus the lower value divided by the time frame very precise time frame is required so uh, and then you give an approximate answer per month uh, the blue writing tells you a little bit uh, extended discussion on the trend line and it's telling you it's a extremely good fit model is extremely good fit for which a linear model is extremely good fit it 
In 2008, the global financial crisis happened and New Zealand banks tightened policy. So this is probably the outcome of your research. Uh, so obviously you need the link and all this kind of references. You cannot simply make any kind of call over here from your or on your personal behalf that is not going to be accepted. Now people have been asking me about the trend. Can it be improved uh, later? Yes, you can. You can think of two different steps. So we call it a stepwise function. It makes our life complicated. And if you do a bit of uh, research, you might be able to understand uh, uh, extended um, might have extended an understanding of what you call a uh, step function or piecewise function, step function or piecewise function. We can think of a linear trend over there, the second linear or whatever sort of trend. Uh, one of the very important thing, your prediction is based on the later part of the historical data. So this part of the data is influencing the prediction later on. You need to remember that. That's the basis of your model. I'll skip seasonal and went into discussion for residuals and uh, overall component. Uh, most of the students are very keen on making this table, but uh, the moment they start making the table, they find it so difficult with this basic calculation. This is called the raw range, which is derived from there. I'm trying to scroll. Does it look like 3,300? Yes. And that's the bottom sort of reading is about 11,000. You need to remember at this moment it doesn't have any connection with the trend line. We are talking about the raw values of the data. When we are talking about the trend, this is the time we take the step value minus this end value, which gives me 1500. 1500 over this 2200, which is the range, raw range, gives you 68%. So basically it means the 68% of the contribution came from the trend, which is pretty close to 70%, which is the ma major component in this series. Now if you go for the seasonal one, six hundred eighty and let's get back to the seasonal swing over here. which is not readable. Now, we can go back to this series. So, 
so 500 comes from the tip and the other value comes from negative 150 isn't it sorry negative 180 which is uh, most likely yeah that's the value which is the trough uh, the lowest trough right so that's how we get these two numbers that gives me 680 680 divided that by 2200 that uh, is 31% so 31% contribution comes from seasonal effect that gives me 99% now you'll be surprised it's exceeding 100% and people will be asking question how can it happen uh, you have to understand these are all estimates these are pretty rough calculations now the 150 is the maximum of the residual which comes from there which is probably that spike 150 hopefully yep and the lowest is negative 100 now as you can see although we have written down the minimum quantity we have only taken 150 that's that has been highlighted so we always take the maximum spike in the residual divide that by the range the raw range and that gives me about seven hundred seven percent uh, which is well below ten percent uh, a thumb rule to decide whether the residual is significant or not now the blue part is uh, mainly the discussion derived from all that table uh, people have been very keen on doing all these calculations because they look precise easy to do but when uh, students want to do it do it in reality from my past experience I've seen they make mistake they waste long time uh, working on these calculations and they tend to forget some of the very basic things they need to pass like the trend like the seasonal discussions and uh, well uh, discussion on I mean the basic discussion on predictions and finally conclusion I've seen uh, some of the wonderful reports uh, were not successful to pass only because they haven't written the conclusion so make sure you have completed all these before you start working on this residual table I'll stop there it's already 14 minutes